if you could see the Earth from space, you'd see our pale blue dot with our oceans and our atmospheres. But if you could see the plasmas in space or the magnetic fields in space, what you would see is the Earth looks like a comet. Its magnetic field looks like a dipole when you're close to the Earth. But because the solar wind is blowing on it, that dipole gets squished up on the day side and stretched out into a long, long magnetic tail, much like a comet. This tail is very, very long. It extends more than five times the distance to the moon. So when you see the Earth from space, you're only seeing a little bit of the region that the Earth controls. And that region is called the magnetosphere because it's the sphere of influence of the Earth's magnetic field. And I've not drawn this to scale. To scale, actually, this distance is five times the Earth's diameter. So to scale, the Earth should really be more like this size. So the Earth's magnetic field goes well out into space, and it traps particles on it. A particle that's charged when it's in a magnetic field, if it is moving, that magnetic field tells it to turn. So a particle of one size does turn right, 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 and ends up cycling around the magnetic field. A particle with the other charge, turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left, also ends up cycling around the magnetic field, but the opposite direction. So what happens is, because the particle cycles and cycles and cycles around the magnetic field, then every particle that starts on the same magnetic field line stays together. They stay on the same magnetic field line together. And as this magnetic field topology changes, those particles move together, with one exception, when there's magnetic reconnection. Only in the case of magnetic reconnection, can you take particles from this field line and this field line that used to be separate, but now we can reconnect them in this wonderful process called merging or reconnection, and now this particle can get onto that field line and this particle can get onto that field line, and you can mix the plasmas that were initially on different sides of the magnetosphere. To study this process, it's best if we can have more than one spacecraft. So we may have one spacecraft at low altitudes measuring the magnetic fields here and the plasmas here. We might have a series of spacecraft uh, like the Themis group stretched out in the tail. Or we can have a closely flying suite of spacecraft like Cluster or the magnetospheric multiscale. So those four spacecraft fly in formation and cross this magnetic field and watch this process happening. Magneto magnetospheric reconnection, magnetic reconnection is a, is a pervasive process. It hurt, occurs in the sun, it occurs in nuclear fusion machines, it includes in the Earth's tail and on the Earth's nose. But only by taking spacecraft and really going there and studying it can we really understand why this process occurs and what controls it.